Hello team. So in today's video, I will show you how we can integrate ChatGPT in DevOps and increase our productivity as well as efficiencies to higher level. So basically, we are not exactly going to like install the ChatGPT tool in our DevOps tool like uh, Azure or something. But basically, we will use ChatGPT as our assistant, which will help us perform our task in a very efficient way to save a lot of time. For example, let's say we want to deploy our application on kubernetes and we already having the docker image so instead of like getting uh, uh, like uh, writing the yaml file from scratch what we will do we will provide the proper details to chat gpt and ask it to generate the yaml files then we will with minimal editing in yaml file we will be able to deploy uh, like uh, application uh, on kubernetes cluster similar way let's say that we are we want to deploy use we want to build and deploy application through Jenkins, then we can ask uh, chat GPT to generate a Jenkins file. If you want the same Jenkins file to be deployed using GitLab CI CD runner, then we can ask to convert the Jenkins file to a, a CI CD YAML file. Okay. Similar ways there, there could be like several other things like installing Kubernetes cluster, writing a specific program with which like with his specific uh, requirement, then uh, like any, any sort of script we want to like use uh, we want to use to perform a specific task or if uh, any script to automate something that also we can like create everything with chat gpt okay so in this video everything i will show you how to use it and uh, like how to increase your productivity but but at the end of the day it you need to make sure that you are also using it to efficiently in a like proper way then only chat gpt is going to be quite useful okay so with that being said let's get just started okay team so in this video what i will show you is how i am using chat gpt for my day-to-day -day task related to devops so basically using this chat gpt your normal task will take lesser time and your efficiency as well as productivity will increase and how it will do how it will get done that i will show you now okay so let's say that yesterday in yesterday's videos i was showing you how you can build and deploy an application from scratch to kubernetes okay so the video was around like 46 minutes long in which i was basically writing a pipeline which took quite some time okay so if uh, let's say if i'm already having a normal pipeline and i just need to do minimal editing then that that will save a lot of time that's what chat gpt will do for me so uh, for the first uh, first task i will generate a jenkins pipeline and how easy it will be let me show you so we will write the message our requirements jenkins files jenkins file with steps okay check out then code compile then run unit tests then we will perform sonar analysis then review scan on file system then code build code build or a maven build anything you can write so let me write it as maven build then docker build build and push image then deploy to kubernetes and last uh, one more thing that we need to have is like tool section okay so i will write as tool section for jdk and maven and as you can see this is pretty much what i need to do to generate a proper jenkins uh, pi uh, pipeline okay let's click enter okay So let me explain you like see this section this was specifically i added yesterday in pipeline to make sure that jdk is being you uh, is available for the whole pipeline on like global level okay same for maven also so i just mentioned in simple words in the uh, uh, text and it generated next we have like git checkout the normal thing okay then we have uh, maven clean compile for compiling the code then maven test for running unit test cases 
then we have uh, ambient sonar sonar this is basically the short version uh, this is because we have already defined the tool here okay then then uh, sorry this is not the tool this is the server okay so chat gpt has already defined it then we have preview scan that also is very easy it is written already then maven build which will be maven clean package or install whichever you want you can run then docker uh, build and uh, push image then finally the general command of kubernetes deployment now you can see how easy this was okay and generated in accurate format we just need to perform a little bit of uh, editing and then our pipeline will be ready so maximum to maximum this will take 10 to 15 minutes to generate a whole pipeline from scratch which will perform your like build and deployment okay now let me show you next example which i use okay so for the next ta next task which i use chat gpt for is to convert my pipeline if we, if i want to deploy my, uh, my application like through gitlab ci cd okay so uh, you might know that inside gitlab the pipeline format is yaml format okay so let's say that uh, let me open the yesterday's pipeline so this is the pipeline that i used yesterday so let's say that i want to convert this pipeline into a yaml pipeline for which can be used over a gitlab runner okay so i will just copy this whole pipeline then i will paste it here but before pasting let me write convert below jenkins file to gitlab ci cd yaml okay then shift enter then paste the pipeline then just enter let's see how it does so you can see it has started creating the yaml file for the uh, gitlab ci cd and you can see like everything properly it has mentioned and everything it has converted what are the stages what was the variable or scanner that i defined okay then the yeah see you can see here it has already uh, like uh, there was a tool section in my jenkins pipeline let me show you yeah so if you see here tool section is for J uh, jdk and maven okay that also it has done here exported those so that those can be used uh, and those can be used in pipeline then we have git checkout then code compile commands are also same then we have a trivi scan code build docker uh, docker build docker push and deploy to kubernetes so as you can see like this becomes quite easy to like uh, build and deploy your basic applications obviously i'm not saying that this is completely 100% accurate but it is like more than enough which you can just take it out edit based on your requirement and then use it use it for deployment okay so this is another uh, option that uh, you, uh, like you may use uh, for uh, use chat gpt for okay let me show you a few more options which uh, i use okay so next to let me show you something that uh, i have used chat gpt for is to create an azure pipeline okay let me just paste it here but, uh, yeah see basically uh, what i have written create azure pipeline for build and deployment of java file to kubernetes and with sonar analysis and os dependency check Okay, so you will see that it will generate a Azure pipeline as well. See now, the best part of this pipeline is that for this uh, sonar sonar analysis stage, it has uh, like created a variable for a format sort of thing where we it has like mentioned that here we need to provide the URL here we need to provide the sonar cube token. So this is pretty good, and I think like. Uh, it is quite close to what we are going to write and this is this surely saves a lot of time when you are doing like uh, devops related tasks okay so let me show you another options okay let's say that we are already having a, a docker image of an application and we want to create yaml files to deploy it on kubernetes so either we can get a template and write it uh, like edit it based on our requirement or we can ask chat gpt to generate it for us and the best way that uh, that will require minimal editing is the one where we will provide the docker image name as well okay so for example uh, i will I, I have a docker image which i let's i want to deploy in my docker public repository so i will provide that here okay so 
let's let's type the text create kubernetes manifest files to deploy using docker image and the image name is this one which is a real image existing inside my public repository uh, slash ci cd devops and the version is 6 let's click enter okay see now what i i wanted to show you is that it has used correct image and it know it it knew like where we and it put that image name and this is the deployment yaml file and this is the uh, service yaml file okay and here it has like shown you the command to deploy it as well and also if you like see it it has explained also okay so this is like really good but these days the issue is that everyone is using for like uh, unnecessary reasons but not everyone is utilizing chat gpt for like uh, correct ways in correct ways and to, to use to basically increase your own efficiency and productivity so the scope of chat gpt is like really big if you are working in any corporate world using devops or any other programming language but if you use it wisely then it is going to be very useful so let me show you few of more uses of chat gpt in devops see script you can generate any of the script you want you can generate simply by simply writing the messages but let's say that you want to learn something for example like you want to learn more about jenkins jenkins deployment and everything so either you can like go on google and go on youtube and search for videos but in that case before watching the video you don't know like if it is correct if it is going to be useful for me or not so this this takes a lot of time so it's better to search on like chat gpt because uh, there are like really good and good explanations for any topics for example let's search for jenkins deployment explanation see for jenkins deployment explanation in detailed way it is like sharing you the guidance like step by step process how it works how jenkins is going to work and how it will uh, like it will deploy in an application okay okay so if you know little bit of even devops now this is going to be really useful for you because like very accurate things are written here build and packaging what what it is going to do main task is to generate a artifact which is jar file war file deploy to target environment see it's really good okay but let's say that we want to understand more about jenkins deployment through a diagram because since this chat open ai this this uh, website this is like text based so we are getting like text uh, format okay so there is an application which uh, which is basically useful when you want to get uh, like uh, a flow diagram of anything for example jenkins deployment flow diagram let's see if it is able to create a proper diagram or not so like this there are like lots of ais which are generate which are used for uh, generating flow diagrams but most of them most of them are like paid versions so this was the only one which i could find which was free to use okay so this might take some little bit of time okay meanwhile you can okay yeah you can see why like quite good good flow diagram it has generated that means uh, like source code will be on github then through webhook jenkins will be triggered then on one side like it, main task is to create docker image and like build docker image then push the docker image then deploy it to kubernetes file and finally like apply the manifest files to deploy in production environment so this is also like uh, a good good website for like creating flow diagrams uh, which you can use okay now let's move on to the next one another thing about chat gpt that might be useful for you as well is that uh, er, issues related to like troubleshooting okay for example let's say that i want to install an uh, plugin in sonar cube tool okay but i don't know like where i need to put that plugin or ja a jar file inside sonar cube backend so i can just ask uh, chat gpt let's do that mm. plugin path in sonar cube backend 
basically the things that I'm searching here to show you is the things that I have already searched previously for my own issues. Okay, so actually I, I faced issues and to fix them to like get proper results, I actually searched uh, over here only. For example, I wanted to put the jar file, but I did not know where to put. So I just uh, searched in like uh, chat GPT and provided the path. Okay, so this is also good. And there are a few like, uh, like lots of other uses also in which you can use chat GPT on a bigger level. But uh, if only you are exploring in proper way, then you can like get a more out of chat GPT as well. Okay. So I think like that's pretty much the point that I was trying to make is that use chat GPT in whichever pro uh, uh, like field you are working, use chat GPT, chat GPT in a like proper way to utilize and like to increase your productivity. Okay. So I hope this video was quite useful for you. If it was, then you can give it a like and if you are new on channel, then you can subscribe. So with that being said, thanks for watching.